Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Country Report. You know, over the years, I've had the opportunity to travel throughout the valley and meet the people who make this part of the country so unique. But recently, I had the chance to travel across Canada. And not surprisingly, our rural neighbors in other parts of the country are just as special, and they have some wonderful stories to tell. So this week, we've put together a program that includes some of those people. Now, one of them you may have met on one of our programs aired earlier this year, but the others will likely be new to you. We begin in the northeast corner of New Brunswick, where we pay a visit to what you might call a funny farm. There's a quiet pastoral feeling to this part of New Brunswick. Dozens of small farms line the roadside of Highway 16. But if you turn off the highway just before Port Elgin, you'll find one of the most unusual farming operations in the Maritimes. Now, you wouldn't exactly call this a model farm, unless you're referring to the hundreds of dummies propped up in every corner of the property. Do not point or stare. Dummies are very sensitive. You see, this is the unnatural habitat of the oddest collection of homemade mannequins you'll ever find. And they're all the product of one man's fertile imagination, 68-year-old Andy McDonald. Well, well, well. How are oh, you, Andy? Fine, fine. Boy, I cannot believe this place. Isn't this something? I have acres of it, and you'll be here for hours having a good laugh. In case you haven't noticed, Andy comes from good Scottish stock, one of ten children born to a Cape Breton coal miner. Is this the McDonald tartan? No, it's the Stuart tartan. I just don't like the McDonald. There's too much green, and I'm a red guy. But I wear those because they're colorful. And you, well, it makes you cut us a uh, oh. dashing figure. Well, certainly. How many women told me that? <laughs> Andy's a reverent choice of a clan tartan just about sums up his outlook on life, and it's certainly reflected in his family of dummies. Oh, this little guy here, look at the size of his head, see? He says, some say beer gives you a big head. He says, I say hogwash. Look at mine, and I love the damn stuff. He said, now, big mouth, I'd have to say yes. <laughs> Andy made his first dummy almost 20 years ago to attract tourists to his roadside canteen, now long gone. Today, the dummies have taken over. How many dummies do you have here? Well, I guess we have over 500, probably 502, count my wife and I. <laughs> Do these dummies represent people around you, people that drop in, you know, your family, your friends, uh, Newfoundlanders, Cape Bretoners? No, but they turn out to look like some of them. So would these now, this two is, people be here? Well, you can see those here. Uh, she's in the middle, Aggie. Anyway, the both of them are after her. It says, short and squatty, rather low. Who will win her, Tom or Joe? Aggie short and full of vim. She has some mustard on her chin. Here's Joe, no job, but full of pride. He picks up beer bottles on the side. There's Tom, very seldom has a dime. He shovels snow in wintertime, <laughs> so she's not getting much. They may only be dummies, but they all have something to say. And like Andy, they've obviously survived some pretty rough times. Growing up in Cape Breton in the early 30s was hard. Few of Andy's grade school classmates had the chance to ever attend high school because they had to help support their families. It didn't do us any harm because out of the whole 18, none of us had been to jail. There used to be a, a gang of about 35 or 40 that hang out around a little place called Sullivan's Corner. And it was called the Pearl Harbor of the South because it was rough. You, you, there wasn't a policeman yet in Sydney Mines, and I hope they're listening, that could ever catch one of us. Making the most of what you've got is a philosophy Andy's lived by. His dummies are all contrived from throwaways and remnants. Andy sees the potential in other people's cast-offs, not just to make a dummy, but to get a laugh. I hate to see a bald-headed dummy. To see someone laugh and enjoy that is beautiful. 
But when you go around and see such faces that they carry, you're like, what, what for? Are they coming back again to another world and going to stare it all over? There's nothing. There's nothing better than a laugh. Andy's grassroots brand of humor goes beyond the boundaries of his dummy farm. You see, Andy is an author with three books to his credit. Bread and Molasses is now in its ninth printing. Not bad for someone who was a babe in the publishing woods. I never knew what a critic was until after I wrote the book. I thought it was something like a cockroach you have in the South, crawl the wall. But I uh, found out what they were. They're just as bad as a cockroach for me, some of them. So I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Andy, this is too much. What is it? Is this cottage country? This certainly is. And then I mean, all through here, back over here, you'll see them. And the <laughs> They're all over the place. Everywhere. Dummies, dummies everywhere. That's right. Over here, you'll see a bunch on the shore. That's a bunch of Cape Bretoners that are still waiting for a ferry that ceased operation 10 years ago. <laughs> Andy's not afraid to take pot shots at his fellow Maritimers, but his favorite targets are politicians. Liberals come in for a particularly rough time around here. And not even the conservatives get a break with Andy. You see, a while back, he came up with what he considered the perfect solution to the province's spruce budworm problem. So Andy wrote the government. He wasn't pleased with their response. I said, how about decorating every tree in New Brunswick, and you'll find the budworm won't touch it. Were you serious? Oh, serious. I he never answered the letter. Well, who decorated them? I decorated them. No, but who'd decorate everyone? Well, the uh, they got enough up there doing nothing. Heaven, all they're doing is running around having a hell of a good time. I don't see what in the hell they're doing for us. You just never know what you'll find in the woods around Andy's place. I mean, look at this sign. Tires grown by Andy for Goodrich. Now, this tire's never been cut, so when I first saw it, I said, how did he get it around this tree? But, I mean, any dummy can figure that one out. Well, it may take a better man than I to figure out Andy's peculiar sense of humor. Whether it's a homemade banana tree or a skater on his last legs, there's no doubt that Andy's one of a kind. He doesn't mind rocking the boat a little as long as people laugh and remember that Andy McDonald was here. I know what they're going to say. Remember that crazy guy with the beard lived in Port Oregon there? He used to have the dummy farm. And, and another guy's going to pipe up and say, yes, he had three books, too. They must have sold good because he had a new car and all that. That's, what, that's how I'm going to be remembered. Johnston and brief leaders of the Canadian Ukrainian community who are trying to find ways to pressure. 
Oh my. <laughs> Turned off fast, I do that. I wonder if it's a Moni said she never had such a time in her life to get home last night. She said the, the snow plows weren't even out. They didn't even uh, plow the roads. Isn't that awful? That's terrible. I'm going to put that effing lead on there.
Hey, they're not nice, these people. I also saw her around Leona, that big one. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. She goes, sits on her lap all the time, though he's around, the big no. fat one. <laughs> she does. She's talking about this <laughs> Leona that, and she took a piece of cake. She went this closer mm -hmm. and, and she just so now, Leona. I'm here to tell you that you know you're not supposed to be taking that cake. You know it isn't good for you, and I don't want you being being mad at her for telling me that you took the cake. Now, and just as stern as can be, Leona is gonna be in there for the rest of her life. She's got yeah. diabetes. She's got no joy in her life whatsoever. So she tried to sneak a piece of cake, and this one comes, you know, as if, my, you think they could even let them have a little piece of cake or have cakes for diabetics. You can, I'm sure there's yeah. certainly must be ways you can do it, you know. Oh. Mm. But I mean, too, there's no, uh, you know, if you got down to see now, listen, you really can't have any more. You can't do that mm. because it's going to make you really sick, you know. But they're so stern and cold. And I think they should play this back to the, <laughs> all of the rest of it. Mmm, nothing more appetizing than a three-quarter eating dinner, huh? Especially mm -hmm. when you're full yourself. Ooh, 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 so, ooh, to take ooh. a picture of the food. Uh, take a, some more of me, Mom says. More of That's me. That's right. Take this one. Me. <laughs> take one like this. Wait for something. Oh, there's a the ghost. There's a poltergeist in there. <sighs> Very nice plant. Well, let's go get for this. Thank God. Get this. For me Thank dessert. God we are all alive this year. Yeah, I'm you know, well. there's not yeah, a lot yeah. of people that are still alive. Who says so. I'm alive? Except the ones who are still alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> Except the ones who are still alive. What did I say? Is for you to say that? People, they're not alive today. They're alive. And we have Santa Claus there. This guy owns a. Uh, Man. And uh, Santa Claus on the back. Oh, don't say Why? I thought you were looking at a movie that we no, already did. Don't say anything. You're being too bad. Woo. Vroom, 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 vroom. I'll tell you a little bit. Don't want to run that back. So I can go get the ball. Where are you? It's like falling. It's a lot like a man to me. Okay. That's you. That was David said that. David said that. David Cobb. Being an ignoramus, she as usual. Those girls told me it was an ignoramus. Believe me, David, you look big enough. Look at those chins. <laughs> look at those. Look, what are there? Was ten there? <laughs> yeah, Michael, she didn't even name the girl. Up top. Have a pee, Michael. Have a, have a pee. Have a little pee. Oh! Michael, she didn't name yeah. the one up top, dude. Nothing I like little, better than little P. Do you know what Miss <laughs> Carver said that uh, Ralph is is a uh, no. uh, Buddhist. He's a, he's the head of the student or president of whatever he is in the college. Right. So he goes, what's he taking? Where did you see him? Mr. Cochran oh. told me that Ralph oh. Cochran is what? down there. He goes to Dalhouse, yes. Yeah. Good dog. And oh, and she said idea. he's it's getting along great. You know he's right. <laughs> Well, how come we have another little piece? He said, Ralph's getting on real only a hope when he gets out. He'll know how to spend his money more wisely than he spends mine. Ha ha, worth living. He's like not like me. Oh, and is a date on? <laughs> What's on now? Hey there, the stands, Grant. They have in the windows of the trucks. <laughs> what are you taking now? You're not taking anybody. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh not, so again. Tired, not, not again. again. Get that face oh. off of here. Get my smear see off. what's going on, David. Brush I'll put on the I, want to keep, I guess that must be. Oh, oh I can't. Oh. Now, if I go like this, this hides some of my gels and chips. Dig the cat up the tree. Oh. Will it take it out the tree? Put your face up, Mike. Get over to the tree. Did you throw, show Sam? Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Did you show Sam at his mouse? 
Yeah. 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 Just wait, where's the cats most? Well, 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 Tail. All I'm getting is the dog's tail. There, it's recording in, in, in the light. I like it all in there, dude. The whole thing. Huh? All right, now I'm going to. Talk a little louder, you people. I'm taking your tree. Hot, Michael. Here what? Camera. What? what Boy, this is some <coughs> nice dinner. A. Try not to get. Try to get up on the ceiling and get me. Yum, this yum. <laughs> I'll have to get some more chicken now. Turkey. Here. It's a turkey. Here. It's just white. white. It's white. You want dark? There's no dark. No. Oh, here's Jesse's nose. See Jesse's nose? Yes. Did you see eyes? Oh, he's such a nice. Yeah. Uh, Michael. Oh, yes. Michael. How come the date is not? Well, it's different, Michael, how come? <laughs> There's recording. Okay. Can you see us? Oh, of course I can see you. Am I, I supposed know, to get I mean, you in the ground? I want to be eating. Well, I, well be <laughs> eating. I'll give you your dish over there. Here. Uh, here, sit in <laughs> there. Louder. What? I took a picture of me, I think. <laughs> well, my, don't double your chin. <laughs> double your pleasure. Now, look at Grampy. Oh, he looks my, like my, a... My, my, I don't my, know my. what. He looks like a baby. The beard. Anyway, Diane, this is a lovely Does Christmas this come? dinner, dear. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. This is Christmas. There's the boy who... We were all Rock and Richard on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Christmas. boy who was, was on the phone hey. for four or five uh, hours. Uh, oh, the the Where's his Oh, flip? God. I wish I could see a, uh? a bare bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a bare yes. bottom. Did you see that guy? Yeah, I saw that. All I want, God, I would love to see Bear I'm Bum. Bear, bear Bum. That guy was funny. You didn't yeah, get to see didn't him. Didn't you see him? Where? I saw him. I you saw didn't him. see him. He's like this. He was a He's French a, writer. Yeah. Where? Who else is here? David. Yeah. I'm seven years old. Now I'm getting into it he's here. All arrested. All kids. I got is a picture of the chair. But he's the same guy. That wrote Say the something. Christmas and the smart. They're mad. The They're mad because I'm leaving them. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. What? What have you got to say? 
Where's Frankie? I'll have to go upstairs and take a picture of Frankie. 3 p.m. What? 1991. Christmas 1991. 3 p.m. Christmas, Christmas 1991. And we're having that our dessert. Yeah. We could barely eat our dinner. We're all so sick. What have you cooked this up? Huh? Minced meat pie, apple pie, but there's black forest black cake in the cellar. Cake. Turn this black way, don't shoot. Why, why, why in fact? Oh, they all have a Thank you, Grampy. What is it? Boy, it's drink. nothing but we black. Oh, Go up and take uh, a drink. I will. Time. Here I come. Where's Jessie? Don't fall. Where's Jessie? Whose chin don't is she on? Your eyes are taking up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's we come into the sick room. There. There he is in the bed. Turn over here and let's see your face. <laughs> he just covered up. There's someone here to see you. <laughs> Don't hit my eye. Don't hit my eye. <laughs> this is the happy dressing man. <laughs> <laughs> this is David's bedroom. It's a shambles. Oh. This is Michael's. The computer is continuously on. There's his neat bed. There's Frankie again. Ooh. Here I'm coming. There's the tree. Stop it, just pull that little flake down. Oh my, I bet you're a great, I bet you're just wobbling. Oh, it is. I'm coming too fast, I'm sure. Who else is here? Where's David? He's over there in the coat. Well, I couldn't see him. Oh, no. But where did he go? been taken up. In the rapture. Where did he go? I don't know where he went. Before we went up to the computer, you didn't see him on the way. Well, I just looked in the room. I looked at the computer. The computer was on the other side. Diane, that's still saying record. Yep. Well, it's turned off. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Do you want to take out the doors? I just did. I believe David's in the toilet. Yeah, I believe. Where's David? 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 A pair of long trousers from Sweden. Potpourri of spices. A style of curtains. Small holes and crevices. Small holes and crevices in rocks. Oh, style of curtains. Sweet. Rhoda's turn. Can you hear them? Your turn. Can you think of what you want one for your answer? I forget. What was the song? Okay. Small holes and crevices in rocks, a style of curtains. Style of curtains. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to put the small holes and crevices in rocks. Maybe yes, so it's small crevices and holes in rocks. Yeah. That's the real definition? Yeah. Okay, now, what are we going to do right some more now? I've never heard that word before. Bugs. I never. Oh. Yeah, you should know it because you probably don't it. It is a geology. Well, on your shirt. See, that's why I'm so smart, but I get the first. Is a bug or a bug on your shirt now? Did you get one? Mud, you have to write this down. I'm taking all your pretty things. I can write your word down, and then and then you can do it. I'll come over. What? Some fun, huh, Dad? You should be doing it, too.
They're okay now. You can because it's uh, okay. Turn down there. It's awfully a little light. I'll put. Oh, oh, he's not run down, is he? Hmm. He, might, he wouldn't, he must be all roar over his battery. That's what it is. Does he stop, Andy? Did you turn it off? I turned it off, yeah. Oh, his battery stopped. He did. Oh, that little dog. Be over under the Christmas tree. Come on over by the Christmas tree, will you? You've heard my voice when I talk. I have to talk low. I'm right here. You're the one supposed to talk loud and keep away from it. Andy? This is Little Medina. Sudden night cherry. This is the story of Little Medina. Pat Chambers. The original. With the pictures. Pat makes the characters, I do the writing. Well, don't, no, don't, I'm just taking pictures. There's Pat, little Medina, hanging there by the neck. Mother there and his father. Father was a king. There he is there before he, he fell, passed away. Yeah, the battery's dead. He did, there. I wonder why it always says low light on this camera. And I wonder why it says low light. Beautiful electric light. Where's the star? Get anything in? I don't know. This is Christmas anyway. The day after is Boxing Day, 1991, and it's 9:30 p.m. in the evening. And I, this is low light, so I don't know. It'll turn out like nothing. That likely. Just be a. On Diane's uh, television, we got snow in the pictures we took that winter, last one in 1990. Beautiful, wasn't it? Oh, same old room. Can you remark or say something about. Uh, did you have a good <sighs> Christmas this Christmas? <laughs> I'm getting ready to write uh, about. Uh, Medina. 
and Pat Medina. He knows all about. He does all the cartoons then, and uh, a part of the, you do part of your book. Well, all he does is make the cartoons, and I got to make a story. And when I think of people, what they do. But Medina, that's a real long story. We got almost a book of it now, and it's really funny. When you haven't it published? Oh, sometime next year. Well, next year is right around the corner. That's good. Because you don't want to wait too long. Time and tide waits for no man. You know that? Now watch me. <laughs> anyway, he's a funny little... He's only small, but he's a hero. Who? Him. Pat or Medina? Medina and Pat. Pat's <laughs> pretty small, too. But yeah, Pat's I, really... He's I wanted to come up tonight so he could... Remind me of a few things here. I don't know. Well, maybe Monday night is a good night. Bring him up. He's, he well, wants to come then, I think. I gotta see him for the, I gotta write in all that stuff there, but I gotta get a few pointers off Pat. Yeah. Is that my per coffee or is it instant? That's my instant coffee. I, uh, coffee. I like the perk. You have to bring all the stuff again in that now. Into Medina. Medina hears you saying hell. <laughs> There's Zag. That was crazy. Huh? Glad oh. you couldn't get a picture of his mother. Whose mother? Zag. Medina's mother. She hated him. Oh, that's a shame. The father king loved him, but he was a king. Yeah, Medina. well, you don't tell too much of it because... Medina hated his mother anyway. She didn't. When I put this in, in the... In the... In the Newspaper, I don't want to talk, or on the radio, this cassette here. It's going to be the funniest. Turn it up a little higher. Story ever seen. Clean it up, yeah. There's Zag, that's his mother. She does all the work, and the king sits back and watches. Huh. And, and, the, and, and Medina loves the king, and his father, the king, but he don't like his mother. He's all well, that's, that's almost bad as yup. <laughs> on the TV room. He, just, he loved the father, loved her, but he didn't get so he didn't like the mother. <laughs> I just love that one, Yup. That's going to be some funny, too. That's going to be as funny as Yup, isn't it? Oh, Only it's longer. Yeah. TV was short. You can't see that. An evening of entertainment while Medina go through his different styles in dancing. Me with no teeth. <laughs> you heard that, did you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a flat I'm not showing you, Andy, right now. It's all on Medina and the picture because I can't get the two in when it's so close. Because you well, wanted to say, I'll show you. Put your <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I won't show that. Okay. I don't say anything about that. It's just saying recording. It looks good. I mean, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say low light, which is good. I don't like to see that low light when it comes on there. It just says record. Never seen that, no matter how good they are. Anyway, uh, there's Medina there. He's he's doing some acts there. For, there's his mother, and there's the doctor, and there's the king. He's on horse. He's only two months old. Few months. Oh, he's he's the main character in the story, yeah, Medina. Yeah, he's only a few months old, but he's And they're all catering to him, are they? Oh, he's a miracle. Just something like E.T., almost. He's not He's not something like E.T. He's a real person. He's a being, is he? Yes, he is. He's not from outer space. That's for trash. Five months old, and he's oh. playing cool. Oh, my sake. That would be funny. Two months old, and he's swimming in the... In the Atlantic Ocean, like the Pacific or the Bahamas. Pulling his mother's hair, pulling his mother's hair, old bag. And you start calling her that because she doesn't like being told that. Now that that was going to. There he's pulling his mother's hair. Look at it. Too bad mm -hmm. he couldn't see that. You you stinker, let go of mommy's hair. Oh, is he a little bad thing, isn't he? Oh, he don't like her. He don't. He's always. He's he's her. got some good points about him, has he a little bit? Well, yeah, he good, but the father, he's always with the king. Oh, the father is. If he's poking his tongue out at the, his mother. He's a bad he must not like his mother very much. Bad little mother. Pat, Pat knows more about him than I do. So. I he ran away, he ran away one time. All he had, a little a diaper on. And it's full of crap. 
What kind of crap? I mean, like, oh, he done... <laughs> yeah, he killed her. Never changed, and he's going away with his little belongings. There, he's I'm not... That's old. all I'm going to tell about that story. Huh? It's funny how when I do like this straight on, it is not low light. It must have it must have to have light on both sides. Yeah, but you couldn't you could but that should be on a tape, not not on a video, because it'll wear out the battery. I would imagine. Where's the tape? That, I mean, the, the our uh, recorder we're supposed to be getting. I'll call uh, him up to get it. Okay, then I'll turn it off. Every one of those trees you plant it. That's true, too. And every one of those chickens you hatched yourself. I laid them chickens. <laughs> I'm going home. There's a, there, there's a hackmatack hedge. How old is that anyway? It's 16. 16 years That's old. David helped me put that. Yeah, David. Your grandson, David Cop. Well, I'm gone. I'm okay, ready. Andy. <laughs> You're getting ready to go now, are you? There's your vehicle ready. Oh. The mother hen, uh huh? She's, she's always hungry. It's too cold to have chickens this time of year, although today it's 60 degrees. This is must be part of Indian summer that was supposed to have had in the first of October. And he's going in to get ready now. I'll turn the camera off. I'm just here taking my yoga. I wish you stopped your tapping. Oh, Mr. Fudge, I love you. Let her go away. Let her go away, Mr. Fudge. Don't let her go away. I love coming to death that you were a dead man. I, I was a dead man. I'll be a dead man if you come over. I'd like to learn now. Well, I can't do it now because I'm telling you. You were just doing it when I come in. Years, and it's truly hard to start from nothing. Fuck, I can stand on my head all you call that stand on your head, let your feet go up. You certainly can, and I think you need to wipe your behind. Oh, Mr. Fudge, in my ear. And then I'm around my mouth. I know you can teach me. And I'm telling you, I want you to teach me. I'm not going to go near you at all. I'm getting tired of you. Listen, listen. Oh, you can teach me yoga, and I want to learn. Teach me yoga. I'm not going to teach you yoga, you little saucy van. There's no reason. I want to learn yoga. I'm going to put you outside. I want to learn yoga. I put you outside. I mean it. I didn't mean to be. I didn't mean to say anything to you. I'm sorry, Mr. Vaz. Well, I guess I'll let you go this time. I'm sorry. Your leg. Higher than that. That's my leg. You get your legs mixed up. That's right. Help me raise mine. <laughs> Jump on my chest, you hurt me. That's no part of you. Play the organ today. Will you play it for me then? I I can't play it. Just one song. Yeah. Rounds and bingo. We're gonna to play this before you all sing your working man. Okay. Get up of my head. Stop it. <laughs>
keep them. Hell, I said it's... Okay. okay, now push it again.
Wunt de korte weet te heesen worden de hunde we we dieren. Hier de dater, bro. Wie die er maar verdeurt te vinden de hurde. Dan leggen we een baanus in, bro. Weet je wat hard doen? Pinkerwarpen, wie verduurt die? Oh, dat is een lapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap
I'll go for a deep to earn. Time to get yourself a In the bar to do to turn the vert. It just turn the vert. I know the turn will happen me whatever. Oh, born the gear to suit to say so. Burn the beer. Light. Burn the vert to earn the light. In camera, in the vert of film. Camera. In the vert of film. Greasy camera. In the vert of film. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes I dream all night long about the dark onion. Sometimes I can't get no sleep at all. And then when I get up in the morning and I want to lay down, I, I can't get back to sleep. Frank, you worry too much. You get the axe after we go back and whittle down some cord. I would. Well, what are we going to do about the onions, Pa? That's well, what I'd like to well, know, because those are our livelihood. That's how we live. Okay, I would buy That them. dark onion uh, scares me, Pa. We can buy them. Yeah. We can't buy enough onions to sell, Pa. Oh, yes, we, but we're, we're surprised. Well, what about the wagon? The wagon's not fixed. We tried to fix the wagon. You said you was going to fix it last week, and you never fixed the wagon. So how are we going to go buy? I put a wheel on it to come off. I told you it needs two wheels, though. I know, but last year it only ran on three and we never had much trouble. And what about the cow that pulls it? Oh. It got away, it got away, the, the fence was busted down and you were supposed to fix the fence and, and, it, and it was busted down, the cow got away and now we got no cow, we got no wagon, and we got no onions. How are we going to survive, Pa? And we can't find the horse. We He's can't. gone now three days. <laughs> three Don't days the horse is gone, Pa. I'm not pulling at the market. When I'm not pulling. You got me to pull it last week, and I'm not going to pull last year. I ain't going to pull it this year. I'm difference. not pulling it, Pa. I got a car out there. Fix you. Fix you to I'm not eat. pulling it, Pa. What are we going to do? There's no onions. And the price has gone up high sky. We can make lots of money, Pa, but there's no onions. There's just one dark onion in the middle of the field. You know what that means, don't oh, you, Pa? I'm scared of touching. I'm scared. 
I wouldn't pull that onion for all the tea in China. So what are we going to do, Pa? I think now it's Spike... It's a curse. It's a curse for turning on us, Pa. Remember Grandpa Spike? Oh, don't say that word. That's what you're called after. He was a bad bugger. Spike. Oh, not you. Sorry. <laughs> Remember the dark... <laughs> Remember the dark onion showed up in his patch, Pa? Oh, I guess... Remember what happened to him? I guess... You remember so. what happened to him, Pa? Ask Mother. She'll tell you. She broke her leg going running. Bless her. She's been gone now over three weeks. I went and also went in two days. The black onion's evil. I guess it is. It's evil. You're gonna have to do something about it, Pa. Why don't you cut the top off it? It can't grow, then. Would we dare do that, Pa? No, Isn't that what Grandpa Spike did? He cut the top off it. Look what happened to Grandpa Spike. Well, who's gonna cut it Look, off? Look, we got the pictures of him. If a person could get it... What happened to him after he cut it off? We'd get a neighbor to cut it off at the side. <laughs> They're far enough away from it by then. See, it just took the side and cut the end and then took off. What if it stops growing, Pa? Oh, that'd be it. That'd be the end of us. We'd have to sell everything we own. I ain't going out after it, Pa. You'd have to. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going, Pa. Spike, I'm going you'll, to tell you. You'll have to go out, Pa. Because i got to stay here and tend the house. There's nothing to hurt the house. It's well, been here the doors before. don't lock. I know, but you can always... We'll put, i got to stay in case someone comes in and takes something. Put a basin of water in front of the door. No one will ever uh, pass a basin of water. Says, that's a superstition. They won't pass a basin of water. That's why some of them are so dirty. I'm scared of the onion, Pa. Oh, we got to eat something. Yeah! <laughs> that onion's not down far enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Push it down far enough. Yeah, we can... It's dangerous, Pa. I guess so. And the weather don't look too good either, son. I'm, fr I'm afraid something will happen to you, Pa, if you go after that onion. Oh, Remember you... Grandpa Spike? Oh, every time you say that name, shivers go through me. Look what happened to him. We got the pictures in the photo album. What happened to him? Never Trump has ever happened to him. It's a dark onion, Pa. Cloud it's your have... fault. Cloud it's your, have... it's your fault. <laughs> Cried to death by a friggin' cat. You're the one with the sick. <laughs> friggin' cat, black. A bad cat got him one day going out for the onion. It was a dark cat. The coat. protector of the dark onion. See, the it protected the dark onion. His new coat. The sleeve was ripped down like that. You'd think someone cut it with that. You still got that coat, haven't you? You know, we buried him with it. Bless him. You're having some trouble there with your uh, batting, Pa. Oh, yeah. I have a snickle. I hope I'm all I'll good. wait here. You go get the onion, Pa. No, I don't think I'll go for it. I'll wait here. You go to yourself to get it. I'll wait here. We haven't got any locks in the doors. Well, we don't... I can tell... We'll take a chance, anyway. So go get it. Tell me about that woman, Pa. What woman? The mystery woman. Well, Remember Grandpa Spike went out to get the black onion and that woman appeared in the field? The mystery woman? Who was it, Pa? It was a neighbor. You know who it was. Old Jesse Sykes. And what happened to her? <laughs> what happened to her? You know what happened to her. They took her away. She was nutty. Because she saw the dark onion. Oh, yeah. And you want me to go out after the dark onion? Well, you should go out and pick it up. You go out after well, it, Pa. I you will. go out after it. I'll I stay here in the house. My leg is sore. My leg is sore. You can tell. Look at that. i got to use a cane. My feet hurt, Pa. i got no boots to go out there. you got a pair on. No, I have. Those are your boots, Pa. That's I gotta take... okay. You can wear them. I don't care. If I'm afraid really they get wet. If you go right I'm afraid the boots will get wet and they get ruined. You'll have to get me a new pair of boots. You can't get me a new pair of boots if we got no onion crops. Well, we'll have, to, we'll have to buy them this time. Pa? Yeah? Sing, <laughs> sing honey. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How do you like my cane?
That's a lovely cane park. Can I have it? Oh, I couldn't give you that. Your father would fall on the floor and never get up. That's the only thing that's holding me up. Oh. That's a crop of 70. It's one of those helgers. That's a picture of one of them. Did they make it? Helger. No, the little fellow. No, I got that in the Dominican Republic. When was you down there, Paul? Oh, I was down there a few weeks ago. Tell me when you was down there. Oh, what a time. Oh, my, my, my. I couldn't talk Spanish. I had a hell of a time, but we, we succumbed, survived. So, what do you think of the weather? I think it's lovely weather. Do you think it's a weather breeder? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> How old are you now? I'll be 91 Tuesday. That's pretty old. Yeah, it's getting up there. Bet you've seen a lot of things, huh? I've seen plenty. Bet you've seen a lot of dark onions, huh? Oh, man, we used to down in the Lee's house. That's the place down there below canning. That should be canned food. We had a hell of a lot of onions. Everywhere you look was onions. Everyone had onions. Every stores were full of onions. Every house had onions. Every house. You rap the door and ask the woman if she wanted to buy any tomatoes. She said, no, but does you buy onions? And she had the place for them. I don't know what they like onions so much for. They say it's good for the art. You know? Art. Hey, art. When you draw. Huh? When you draw. <laughs> no, that's your art. Oh, your art. You go. Yeah? Yeah. She said, that's what they say is good for the art. And as soon as they said it's good for the art, everybody wanted onions. Do you ever sell onions? Well, we didn't sell too many. We give them away when we're young. Huh. Nothing to give away three or four bushels to one person, if they could carry them. We had a lot of women business. They couldn't carry them. They big onions? Big. Some were nigh, oh, I'd say big as a wash tub. They were, and they were rooted. <laughs> they did go so many roots. We had to cut all the roots. It takes us an hour to cut the roots. You had to dig them with a spade. Spade? <laughs> Some of us had to tie, ro tie the rope on us. We went down and, and cut them off, just like a, you do to a, a mine. Had to dig a hole around them, go down, cut the... Oh, they have wonderful roots. They hold... See, the roots go through, and then... And they hook... They hook on the... And they were entwined around <laughs> each other, see? And then when you get, you get something like that, try that first, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and take a couple of men! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be pulling the onions there, trying to get the onion out, and someone say, yeah! <laughs> you knew we had the onion, man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> been a while since they grew onions like that, huh? No, it's been. Well, we use a different uh, manure. Manure? Yeah. Yeah. We use duck manure, which is much better. Every house has a duck. Every day. That's why there's so many ducks around. Here a duck, there a duck, everywhere a duck, duck. And what you do, you <coughs> you place your seed, then you put your duck. No, Rowdy. <laughs> you want to know how to tell them that your plant has come out to be up? <laughs> the onion be up already. <laughs> what they call fast, fast onion. They call it the fast onion. Wouldn't let you even get in the house to be up. You don't see? Then you have to water the sun. You have to just plant it. Now call it. They take a lot of water? Well, no, well, there's usually a bucket of water always there. There's a light going off and on. What are you looking out the window for? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cat. That bad cat. <laughs> yeah. Been a long winter. Winter
Hörte wird der Hese wollen der Hunde wer wird jeder. Hese da hat er Brot. Wie die Gerbaut wird der Hörte finden der Hörde. Ja, ich bin ein Bärmischer Brot. Wie die wird Hörde. Ja, 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 Pink, 
I'll give her a good deep thing to earn. Time to get you satisfied. <laughs> he never had to do to turn the vert. He just turn the vert. I know, but turn the lap and he went up. Oh, Barn, the gear to suit to say so. Late on. Burn the beer. Late. Burn the vat to earn the light. In camera. In the vert of film. Camera. In the vert of film. Greasy camera. In the barbadier. Keep it up. I don't know. No, no, not that. In, oh, in the barbadier, Vadim. Jeopardy at. Wing the door. Wing the bear. Wing the door. Wing the door. Wing the door. See, he and I were sitting in the same seat. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, right over windfall. <coughs> We're running, we got a couple each because Darren is in. Oh, there's nothing scares you worse since he's a chief of police in school, Lockamary. I'm 
living like good women, whiskey, wine, and song. I got me two, three women, sweet as can be. I put that thing on them and got a written guarantee that I can't go wrong. I sure do. 
Oh, it looks so good. It do. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a piece, honey, if I could. No, no, Mary. What? You're making me blue. Why, Willie? Because I can't give none to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll play ring around roses, even play hopscotch. But I can't give you none of my lollipops. Yeah, you can. I know Fanny's got one. Yeah, she got one. And thinks it's fine. It is. <laughs> but I bet you nickel, baby, it ain't as good as mine. I don't know. You know Tommy and Johnny mm -hmm. and cute little Joe. Mm -hmm. Why, they wouldn't go to school till I give them some more. Yeah. Now, and if you try to take it, I'll call a cop. Cause I ain't gonna give you nothing. None of my lollipops, none of my lollipops. Look here. What? Uh-huh, honey. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit. I ain't. Look here, I'll give me a little no. bit. No. I'll give you a nickel for it. I ain't gonna give you nothing. Oh, just a little bit. No, I'm gonna tell my mom. Oh, I don't care if you tell your mom. You give me a little of yours, and when I get some, I'll give you one of mine. I don't want yours. Huh? I don't want yours. Well, I want yours, and I'm gonna tell you why, honey. Why? Yeah. I'll tell you what you do. What? Look here. I'll play mom and papa until it's night. Oh, wait a minute. You can beat them out oh, if it. you treat me right. But here's one thing I'm guarding mm -hmm. with all my might. Yeah, honey, and I can see good and well that you sure is sitting on it tight. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna give you none, so let me be. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm keeping it for myself. It means so much to me. Well, honey, hey, hey, give me a little old candy. Uh, let the argument drop. No, cause your lips will never touch my lollipop. No, Not no, this mama's lollipop. lollipop.